Hello everybody, Ryan from the Griffin String Quartet here. Man, it's crazy January is already over. This February, we want to celebrate Black History Month. We want to celebrate prominent Black and African American composers, violinists, violists, and cellists who have contributed greatly to the classical music world. Today, we will explore some of these famous composers. Some of them were friends with Beethoven, or even rivaled Mozart. Maybe you recognize their name, or maybe you recognize the tune. Let's take a look. It is often forgotten that Black composers and musicians have made significant contributions throughout classical music history. Composers like Chevalier de Saint George, dubbed the Black Mozart, was born as an African slave. However, throughout his life, he became a virtual violinist and prolific composer who wrote many string quartets, symphonies, and concertos throughout the 18th century. He even led the most prominent orchestra in Paris. It is remembered while Mozart was struggling to gain recognition, he often felt jealous of Chevalier de Saint George's success. Mozart saw Chevalier's arrival and wanted to gain the prominence that Chevalier had. It is believed that Mozart even stole his famous Sinfonia Concertante Concerto idea from Chevalier. George Bridge Tower was a revered violin soloist and composer of the 18th and 19th century. Bridge Tower was so talented at a young age that future King George IV decided to oversee his music education. Bridge Tower met Beethoven while performing in Vienna together, and Beethoven was so impressed with his virtuoso abilities that he wrote his ninth violin sonata with him in mind. They gave the premiere together in 1803. Sadly, their friendship fell apart and they had a falling out with one another. Because of this, Beethoven changed the dedication to Rudolf Kreutzer. Beethoven's most famous violin sonata is now known as the Kreutzer Sonata and not the Bridge Tower Sonata. Not only a violinist, Bridge Tower wrote many works for violin, piano, voice, and a range of ensembles. Born in Little Rock, Arkansas, Florence Price was the first African-American woman to have her music performed by a major symphony orchestra. The Chicago Daily declared her piece performed by the Chicago Symphony a flauntless work, a work that speaks its own message with restraint and yet passion, worthy of a place in regular symphonic repertoire. Though Price was steeped in European tradition, much of her music included American and Southern idioms. Price was a deeply religious woman who brought her African-American church music into her compositions. Next, we have Scott Joplin, dubbed the King of Ragtime. Scott Joplin was one of the most important and influential composers at the turn of the 20th century. His ideas around harmony, as well as his complex rhythms, are still imitated by composers to this day. His piece, The Entertainer, was used in the 1973 Academy Award-winning film, The Sting. Maybe you've heard of this tune. <laughs> Our last feature of the day is contemporary composer Jesse Montgomery. A New York native, Jesse is not only a composer but also a violinist. Similar to us, she is a string quartet member who played in the public quartet and the Catalyst string quartet. Her works have been performed by major orchestras, famous instrumentalists, and revered chamber music ensembles throughout the world. Jesse is influenced by the music that surrounded her as a child the classical work she learned as a violinist, and the jazz she heard from her father, a saxophonist and clarinetist. She also is a fan of rhythm and blues and hip hop. We the Griffin were lucky enough to study and perform her work Strum in 2020. Here's a clip from that live performance.
and join us in celebrating Black History Month. The Griffin String Quartet is in residence with Midsummer's Music in Door County, Wisconsin. For more information about our upcoming events, visit midsummersmusic.com.